Hey, good folk. It is your girl, Edu Sankofa. I'm here filming one of my kind of talking videos, kind of talking to you, talking to myself. And I'm going to be getting ready at the same time. I'm headed to run some errands in a little bit. And I just figured I might as well record something while I am getting ready. So, first things first earrings because I'm good for forgetting to put them on and I'm a hoops girl through and through but anyway I hope you all are well um I haven't ever really done one of these get ready with me I'm pretty much dressed I have on you know some shorts and like this shirt and it's hot so this is the outfit and silver hoops always I'm a silver accessories type of person so the whatchamacallit it's kind of hot in this bathroom oh my god the mirror is straight ahead and I'll be looking there and I kind of get ready but in any capacity I'm just doing a light beat today really basic really simple and kind of talking through some stuff by the time this video um ends up being published by the time you see this video it'll be another month it'll be november at some point um and i will be out of mexico by then so yes so what i'm doing is using a little bit of pro filter um Amplifying eye primer, which I don't really need much of this because I'm not really doing eye makeup, eye makeup. I could, but I'm not. I'm just gonna, I mean, I could get one of my eye palettes, but let's see. Anyway, I don't need to put this on first. So let me, let me do what I normally do instead of getting distracted over here. So what am I talking about today? <sighs> if you follow me, you know that I am a student. I am a doctoral student. Um, I am earning my PhD. Um, and I am earning my PhD in, uh, in higher education. We have Mocha and we have Deep Cool. Um, I'm going to go with Deep Cool. This is the next can't stop, won't stop. Uh, matte concealer, corrector, whatever you want to call it. Just putting some some blemishes here, some problem areas I have. And then I'll just kind of do that and do it on the other side as well. So what am I talking about today? Today I'm talking about um, the intellectual journey slash. So I made a video for October that is called, I think, um, what how it started which is a play on the trend that's popular on social media right now, which is how it started, how it's going, or how it ended, whatever. And so considering I am still in my doctoral studies, um, it had not ended. <laughs> uh, it's going to end at some point, but it has not ended yet. And so with that, what color am I using? I'm using Deep Cool, which is literally putting a few dots on the perimeter of my face where I have um, the most spots. It's kind of spot scarring from picking and from other things. So once I get like that done, I don't really like do most of my face anymore. I don't do the whole face because there's no point. But um, yeah, so I was talking with a colleague, a friend recently, um, who is also in grad school and is one of the most brilliant people I know. And if you're watching this, you know who you are. And something that came up in the conversation was like, one of the things that came up in that conversation was, um, okay, I don't want that there. This is mocha. I'm just kind of putting mocha here, these, this area and a little bit here, and then I'll go ahead and brighten up. But um, part of what I wanted to talk about today was 
part of the spiritual journey for me that's connected to my educational journey, especially my doctoral journey, my PhD journey. And for me, why that is incredibly important, why that's important is um, because when I started, if you've seen that video, you'll see that, you know, I had definitely um, that new shiny car experience. And that was, you know, some while ago. So whenever you watch this, this is what color, this is warm caramel. I just kind of put it a little bit under my eyes, as you can see, it's lighter, putting a little bit here and there. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty much like really low maintenance. I mean, <laughs> let me not say low maintenance. I'm kind of like, I know what I'm doing with my face. It's tried and true, it works. And I can just boom, 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 finish quickly done with it and move on. Um, but I'm using this one brush because I think this is like the only brush I packed. <laughs> um, I have a buffer brush, like a big fluffy buffer kabuki brush, but anyway, you finna use all that right now. So anyway, um, part of that journey and where I'm at, this is how it's, this is how it's going basically. Um, how it's going is that I am, pretty much nearing the end of my first half of my third year of doctoral studies, PhD degree process. And how is it going? It's going in a capacity that um, I'm constantly learning new things. I'm constantly thinking about what is important to me in this process. Why am I even in the process? Warm caramel and cappuccino. Okay, warm caramel and cappuccino. The warm caramel and cappuccino, what is this? Warm caramel cappuccino. I'm gonna highlight a little bit more right here, so, cause I want it to kind of like, it's a little bit warmer, hence the name cappuccino. And I want it to kind of not be as bright and yellow, but I want it to kind of like just warm me up in some places. That's typically a little darker. In any capacity, um, how is it going? The process is, is one where I'm learning, I'm learning what my constitution is about, I'm learning what is important to me, um, what do I need in order to proceed. Um, I'm learning more about the place that is the academy, the quote unquote ivory tower. Um, how it's going is that I'm learning that, much like the world, the outside world, um, there are a lot of political arenas in the academy, political movements, um, lots of statements to be made that are political. Highlighting under my brow is warm caramel. Um, statements to be made that are in fact political. And because this is not, you know, kind of have to act fast, you know what I'm saying? But um, kind of have to act fast because it's not, like I said, but um, basically, the whole thing with this academic life is that just like the political climate we're living in, the academy is not exempt from that as well. Where who you know sometimes is more important than what you know. Um, sometimes it's the connections you make that will carry you through. It's the people that you have in your corner. It is the people you align yourself with. Of course, we hope that it's uh, there's enough latitude for it to be about um, the things you do as well, but sometimes it's not about that. And, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning that, right? And so what I hope for is that, um, you know, the rest of my degree process, I hope that by the time fall ends or, well, you know, I hope, or it may be, or it may not be, by the time fall 2020 semester ends, um, or calendar year uh, 2020 ends, I will be a candidate, a PhD candidate, which is pretty much ABD, which is all my dissertation. Um, what I've learned is that people and systems have to work together. And what, I have, what I've also learned is how it's going in how it's going is that you have to advocate for yourself every step of the way. And what may have worked for you when you applied may not work for you anymore. You may have new experiences, you may have new allies, you may have um, learned lessons about who 
can support you and who cannot support you. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It's, it's, a, it's a series of explorations, right? It's, it's a series of experiences that um, rivals nothing else in academic spaces because to get to that place to earn your doctorate, to earn your PhD, which is typically speaking a, a research-based um, degree, um, it takes a lot out of the person doing it. It takes a lot of commi commitment. It takes a lot of wherewithal, self-awareness, I would hope. And it takes a lot of advocacy, advocating for yourself. And sometimes it takes relearning, learning, relearning, learning, falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up. And it also takes sometimes unexpected things happening, whether they are um, what you think will happen, what you want to happen versus what is actually happening. For example, we are in a pandemic. Did I think that when I started my program, I'd be the midpoint during a pandemic? No, I didn't. I certainly did not. I did not have that idea. I did not know the world was headed this way. I did not know that I would even be, you know, abroad for for all intents and purposes, a semester, you know? Um, and I did not know that the academic calendar would shift, that things would be different, um, but here we are. That is the actual thing that was actually happening. Let me get my other palette and I'll be right back. Okay, I am recording again. I don't know if it like helps if I shut the door for better light in any capacity. Um, that was up. Uh, you know, I didn't know that this was going to be my experience and the experiences of everyone, you know? And so you plan, God laughs. If you make plans, God laughs, if you've heard of that. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy right here so to kind of give me a little bit more warmth you see this is what the color looks like cool so um uh yeah what i've realized is that you can be excellent you can be in process of learning and having new experiences and things can go awry and you just kind of like have to hurry up and wait, which is, you know, I worked in beauty. I worked in fashion luxury before. Um, and part of being in that world was sometimes you would hurry, hurry, hurry up, get your talent to set, make sure their makeup is right. And then you would have to wait. You'd spend so much time waiting, you know? So I'm well aware of hurry up and wait. And part of what I know is that what I'm guessing at this journey, being post-coursework, um, being at a place to want to maneuver um, to get to candidacy, to move on to dissertation proposal, to move on to dissertation writing, is that it's a lot of hurry up and wait right now. Because we're in this global moment, um, this is some Black Radiance uh, loose setting powder in the color banana. Um, I should have put this on a while ago, but I have neglected to do so, but I'm going to do it now um, and kind of look really silly. I'm just going to put a bunch of it under my eye <laughs> and kind of let that do its thing. You see that? Okay, cool. Um, and so that's what I've also learned is that it's a lot of hurry up and wait. And in that hurry up and wait, there's nothing you can do if your committee isn't ready. If your committee has objections, if your committee has questions, if your committee is also going through a pandemic and all of the things that happen with life, right? Um, then it's to some degree out of your hands what happens. And so I'm learning that we gotta be flexible with your PhD journey. <coughs> Ooh, not trying to choke on this powder, honey, not trying to choke, but you gotta be flexible. You gotta be flexible. It's your PhD journey. You have to be really, really flexible and you have to be um, willing to stand up for yourself. 
you know, this ain't even even at all. This is not even, but it's all right. I'm gonna figure it out. It's gonna look fine by the time I'm done. Um, you have to really, really, really know who you are and you're gonna have your own individual test. What I mean by that is that you will have your own test that will be tailor-made for you by the universe, by PhD universe, <laughs> that will, that your cohort mate will not be dealing with, that you will be dealing with, that your friends and other programs will not be managing, but will just be your issue because everybody's coming with a different skill set, right? Everybody's coming with a different ability and everybody is coming to learn one thing or the other. And so once you get past coursework, I, at, at least in my case, you know, getting past coursework and four semesters, I hurried up to now have to wait to do other things. And, you know, once I get past comps, I will talk more about my comps prep and my comps journey and what comps looks like in my program. But while I'm in process, I won't be discussing it in detail. But um, that is what's happening. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. It's a little frustrating, I ain't gonna lie. But if you're type A, which many people are that attempt to even earn a PhD, then you are used to a fair modicum of control over your environment, your work, your output. You take pride in that, right? I think I put enough of this on. Um, you take pride in that. And so with that pride, you know, at least for me, it's like, if I know what I'm doing is right and I know what I'm doing is good, then I'm straight. <laughs> um, but with this process, when you start moving post-course work into other things, then it becomes, you gotta deal with other people, interpersonal things come into play. It's a lot of that. Here is the revolution beauty, bronzing powder, revolution beauty. This is um, the matte bronzer in the color deep. I love this bronzer. It is fabulous. So I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and like start shading in the meanwhile, while I'm, I don't know if I'm baking. I'm just kind of like giving myself more definition, honey. More definition, darling. I also just got finished um, listening to the audiobook of The Meaning of Mariah. I think that's what it's called, Mariah Carey's Memoirs. And so since I've been listening to that, Honey, I've been talking about things being festive and all of the things and everything that, this, that, the third, all of that. Um, so, you know, forgive me, forgive me or don't forgive me. Um, but yeah, I love this browner. I can do so much with it and like, it does not betray me. Like I'm doing a hell of a lot right here. I'm doing way too much. Like if I'm going somewhere, but I'm not. But in any capacity, um, what I'm learning and how it's going is that you can do the things you think you can do. You can do whatever you want to do. And then there are things that you just can't control. And so you have to kind of give up trust. You have to let the process be what the process is going to be. Um, I'm fairly type A. And <laughs> Because I'm fairly type A, I really enjoy knowing the outcomes ahead of time. And honey, that outcome ahead of time, you can say bye-bye to that once you like get to a certain place in this PhD journey. Because it has a mind of its own. And it's gonna do what it do, right? It's gonna do what it do. Um and that is what <laughs> that is how it's going for me. I am currently um, I'm using this Sephora palette, it's Spice Market blush palette. I lost one of them in travel. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use some colors on here just for my cheeks in the meanwhile. Um, this brown color, I don't know if you can tell, but this brown color right here is everything. And I'm going to use a little bit of highlighter. And that's going to be that right on my cheekbones. But yeah. Um, how it's going is it's going. And I'm realizing that everybody has their own personal journey and you gotta just take with it what you're meant to learn from it. You gotta strategize, you gotta be deliberate. 
and move through PhD life like it's your job, honey. Because, you know, for those of us that want to continue in the academy, it is um, a great training ground for all sorts of things that come with um, getting that, you know, that degree. So, yeah, that's, that's what I can say now, going in with the gold highlight. Um, that's what I can say about the whole journey. It's that it is not for the faint of heart. This is what I'm learning. This is how it's going. It's not for the faint of heart. It is something very, very, very um, specialized, unique. It is something personal. Um, it can, you know, be <laughs> like philosophical if you want it to be. And for someone like myself that is um, headed down a fairly spiritual journey, it's really important for me to continue to be um, aligned with this intentional travel, international travel that I've been doing um, and will continue to do during this pandemic in the sense that thinking about black intellectual history um, and the ways of you know, ancestors, folks were traveling, folks were moving around the world and getting different perspective and thinking about the, themselves and the, the world and their work. And that's incredibly important to me. And so I'm having a fairly good time um, doing the things I wanted to do with intention, which were to get out of the US for a period of time, to breathe, to exhale, to inhale, um, to think, to read, to have a clear mental space that's totally mine for the taking as far as doing work, thinking, allowing myself to make intellectual leaps and bounds for the things that are important to me that will enhance my academic trajectory, but also that will enhance my, my academic story um, and the things that I want to write about, which for me are legacy building and things that I hope that somebody else will use in the future. But um, yeah, no, this whole, this whole journey of being abroad while being a PhD student for me has been intentional. Um, and by the time you know this video goes up on my channel, I will most definitely, um, I will most definitely have um, achieved a great deal of what I wanted to achieve as far as getting that latitude to think um, and to be an intellectual, which is a real privilege and I acknowledge that. Um, but it is something super, super important to me. Um, and so many of the people and persons that came before me, um, whether they're Caribbean thinkers, whether they're African-American thinkers, whether they are African thinkers, Africanists, Caribbeanists, whatever, Black studies people, that tradition, historically speaking, of intellectuals going abroad and moving within and without means everything to me. And so because it is something that I want for myself, Hey, I took a leap and so here I am. So that is where I'm at. Um, I'm using now this Revolution face palette, Patricia, Patricia Bright. This is one of her palettes. It's in You Are Gold. And I'm using the pink color, that color there, for my cheeks, which is way too much. But this, y'all, I'm gonna step out this light and I'm gonna have so much going on with my face. It's gonna be hilarious, I'm just gonna say that. But it's gonna be all right. I need to finish my face soon though because I got a lot going on right now. I got a lot going on. Um, I'm gonna use this NYX Butter Gloss and Ginger Snap, y'all. Amazing. Um, I got these colors, I typically don't wear NYX like that. Uh, I got these colors on Amazon. When one of the girls was flying in, I asked her to transport some of my makeup that I just ordered on Amazon and she did and she was kind enough to do so. And so I just need to like fill in my brow. And me done. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Total Temptation Maybelline Brow Divider. Deep Brown, number 315. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening. Um, that's where the journey is for me right now. What am I saying? I am fighting, struggling, working towards making this my own, um, doing the things with it. This is slanted, by the way. Doing the things with it that I know for me make the most sense for a person that believes in thinking with community, 
taking time away, thinking by themselves, like that's important to me. And I will say that it's been beneficial in me being outside of the, the US for these you know, three months or, or so um, to be able to think and to read and to have vitamin D poured into me and to read at the beach and to read in my jacuzzi um, and to live in an environment expansive where I've been able to think expansively. So that is what it is. Um, I'm literally filming this video also just kind of like for myself as like something to look forward to that I can hopefully look back on once I finish this degree because you know there are moments that exist where finishing this degree seems like improbable and impossible. And I'd be lying if I didn't, if I, you know, if I didn't say that, I'd be lying. And so for me, let me see how to do like, oh honey, I am hot. Uh, for me, it would be kind of responsible not to say that because this is my journey for better or for worse. And it includes all kinds of changes, it includes committee member changes, it includes um, changing advisors, it includes changing locations, it includes changing dissertation topics and like um, line of study. It includes so many changes. And um, it's, it's one heck of a journey, that's all I will say. Um, so yeah, so for me, this is kind of like what I hope to have enhanced by being in this lovely country for three months is my hair is now four months, a little bit over four months locked. And um, just my, maybe like a week or so after four months locked. And this journey is as much a spiritual one as it is an academic one, professional one. And I am grateful for all of that. I am grateful. But yeah, um, that's how it's going. How it's going is hurry up and wait, continue to have faith, try to keep my head in the books, do the things that are important, and that goes up. So uh, I think this video is long enough. I'll come back more and talk about education stuff, but this is how it's going. How it's going is, whoa. <laughs> how it's going is how it's going. And I'm grateful to be at a place where I can say, hopefully, this will be my last degree, and hopefully, I'll make it to the end, and hopefully, I'll be Dr. So-and-so, Dr. Edu Sankofa. Boom. All right, talk to you guys later. I'll come back and talk another time more about the spiritual stuff. I like the connection to knowing and understanding and thinking uh, in my context in a way that makes sense for me. It doesn't have to make sense for you, but this is something for me that I want to look back on, so. Toodles.